Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin tray and we're going to be using this beautiful mold here. So let's jump in and get started. I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera. This is some of my silver dragon glitter. You can get it from my Etsy shop. I just mixed that in with my clear resin and we're going to go in and fill up the mold. Super easy to make this. Um, if you want to see step by step how I mix my resin, I will link some of my mixing tutorials down below in the description box. Be sure to go check those out. In those videos, I show you step by step how to mix your resin. And these little cups work perfectly for pores like this when you're using a mold with a lot of really fine details. So I'll link these down below. You can get them from Let's Resin. I was just going and adding some glitter to this cup, pouring it, and then adding more as I needed to. Um, I had that big cup of silver mixed up off to the side. If you fill these little cups up too much, it, it'll start spilling. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Just fill it about three quarters of the way full and then add more as you need to. And I always have extra molds handy um, off to the side of my workstation in case I have any leftover resin. So that way no resin gets wasted and I just use those if I have any leftover. I love how simple and easy this project is. I love this mold as well. Um, I got this mold from Shop Resin Molds website. I will link them down below. They have a few different designs available. Um, so this mold is either like a tray mold, you could put a candle on it, or it could even be a placemat or an oversized coaster, whatever you want to do with it. Um, you could also wait until your resin is starting to get um, or your resin starts to set up and it's still pliable and then mold it into a bowl if you wanted to as well. You do want to make sure you fill it up all the way though. So I was kind of squatting down, um, getting eye level with my table and making sure that I filled this mold up all the way to the top. Um, and you also want to make sure that your workstation is 100% level before you pour a mold like this. And that's really it. I had to add a little bit more as you just saw there to fill it up all the way. I let it cure overnight. Here we are the next day getting ready to take it out of the mold. I was really excited to see how this turned out. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box, along with any coupon codes that I have. Definitely check out my Etsy shop. I have a lot of really beautiful colors of glitter available. But here's how it was looking and sitting down flat. That's how it would look if you wanted to use it as a tray or a placemat. Um, but I ended up turning this one into a sun catcher. You could also use it or turn it into a wall hanging as well. I just took my glass crystal beads and my split rings and attached those to it. Super easy to do. I love, love, love how it turned out. When the sunshine hits those glass crystal beads, it throws a lot of really beautiful rainbows. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments and let me know what colors I should do next. I was thinking purple would be really pretty um, or blue. You guys know I love blue. If you've been watching my channel for a while, it's one of my favorite colors. But let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all doing wonderful and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.